My name is Mike Popowell, and I've been teaching um, at Elm Middle School. This is my 21st year in the district and at teaching at Elm Middle School. Um, I currently teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade choir and general music. So as an educator in the field of music and in, in teaching choir, um, it's always good for us to be performing um, on our own or you know, in a, in a group like we might be conducting as well because then it helps me remember what it's like to be on the other side of things. So instead of being the conductor, I'm in the seat of the student and then it allows me to connect with you know, what my students might feel like when they're in their ensemble and they're rehearsing. So I joined the St. Charles Singers in the fall of 2005 and I had heard about a group um, that had a wide variety of ages of singers um, that sang um, some classic choral repertoire but also some kind of newer stuff and some interesting pieces um, and so I was drawn in by a friend of a friend and then auditioned and got accepted. Mike Popowell for many, many years. He's a, just an incredible person, um, an important baritone. So, uh, he's done a lot of solo work and a key member of the, the men's section in our choir. He's an amazing singer, great musician, and I, we've talked together about how his life as a singer has impacted his role as an educator and vice versa. His role as an educator has uh, made him a better singer, so it's nice to see that beautiful collaboration that he brings to our world in the St. Charles Singers. I think now what keeps me coming back is the combination of the camaraderie of friendships that I've made over the years, the beautiful singing and the music and the high level of musicianship, um, but also that it reminds me of what it's like to not be the director in front of the group, but also I am on the other side in a seat and it reminds me of what it's like for my students in my class every day that somebody is asking you to sing this page and this measure and um, it keeps me grounded that way as well as the student not just as the leader. Mr. Popwell um, always pushed me to like do what, the most that I could when it came to my singing. Um, I could tell that he wanted to see me grow and he also just really wanted me to get out of my shell when it comes to singing. I would say my favorite memory or most memorable moment from middle school choir was him pushing me to try out for a solo in one of our songs called The Million Dreams and then him giving me the, uh, the solo. It was my first moment where I got pushed to go outside of my comfort zone and try something new and experience something that I've never done before. Personally, I come from a very musical family, so I've always seen Mr. Popowell as like a family member who just is very supportive. Um, so I feel like he's impacted me in a way of, man, I just want to make Mr. Popowell proud. Like when he comes to see the spring musical or when he comes to see this choir concert, I just want to make him proud that, you know, his hard work has paid off, at least in one student. Um, and he's always just made me want to be better. I realized the other day that the students that I taught in the fall of 2000, let's say, are pushing 39 or 40 years old right now. So that just made me really realize when you've been doing this for a while, you start having these milestones. Um, but I guess I would really hope that my students would just have more of an appreciation and, and that perhaps it's infectious, it's, it's contagious, that if I show my love for music that maybe they, they catch that and then they, they take that on in their, their lives after school.